YouTube, what's going on? It's Professional Madden Player T. Davis, and welcome to another free mini scheme here on the YouTube channel, We're breaking down 32 NFL team playbooks, going over the five best money plays in each playbook. I think you guys are going to really enjoy today's video. It's going to help you guys improve a lot when it comes to getting better at competitive Madden. Make sure you guys subscribe here to the channel on YouTube for the best pro player tips, gameplays, eBooks, and much more. Check out my coaching sessions down below as well. We have 30 minute and 60 minute sessions if you want to improve as a Madden player. I also have a defensive ebook available, my multiple playbook defensive ebook. We have 80 minutes worth of run scheme, defensive scheme, how to build a scheme in general. Uh, we have some great blitzes in the ebook as well. So definitely check that stuff out. I stream on Twitch as well. You can check out all my social medias all my links in the description below. Definitely check all that stuff out in the links in the description below. That's it for the intro, guys. Let's get into today's video. All right, guys, your boy T. Davis back in today with another breakdown. We're going over five money plays out of the New Orleans Saints playbook, one of the best playbooks in the game, one of the best playbooks the last few years when it comes to Madden. You're going to be able to run the ball, pass the ball, depending on your preference. If you're a runner, if you're a passer, this playbook has plenty of money plays that we can go to if we want to beat our friends, if we want to play online, if we're playing serious. One of the best playbooks in the game. We're going to start it off with a couple runs here. We're going to look at I-Form Slot Flex. And this is the only playbook in the game, I believe, that has the Saints halfback zone play out of the I-Form Slot Flex. It's kind of a mix of a stretch, a off tackle, and a power O. All kind of combined into one. It's going to be a quick handoff. And uh, you can do one of two things. You can kind of take it up the middle, or you can go cut it to the outside, depending on what you see. Um, so we'll take a look and we hike it. Here we have the blocking up the middle. And the handoff is so quick that you're never really going to lose yardage on this play. You're going to be able to get it up there really quickly, um, pretty much at the line of scrimmage when you get the handoff. As you see there, it was pretty clogged up, but we were already at the line of scrimmage that we gained about a yard without even having to do anything because the handoff is so quick and it's right at the line behind the center or the, the guard. You can also bounce it outside if you want as well. Of course, Kamara, you know, he doesn't have the speed that we would like. In Madden 21, you want tons of speed at the running back position. Um, but Kamara is pretty agile. He's able to get it up there. We get about four yards on that one. We didn't look like we had much. The other thing as well is you can flick it um, to the left or right. So if you want to go to the left side, we got the numbers here to the left side. Hand it off, kind of wait, follow our blocks, take it to the outside. And I like to, on this play, I like to wait to hold the speed burst. So I'll kind of hike it, not don't speed burst, wait, 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 run, and then I'll kind of boost uh, with that right trigger or that R2 button to get that speed burst um, eventually. So one more time here, kind of wait. This time we cut it to the outside, we get a big play. You see wait for some blocks, and it's an easy 10 to 12 yards. So one of my favorite runs, and then one other thing I wanted to break down that's so good out of this is you can audible from this over to something like I-Form Close, and it's going to be a quick audible. So say we wanted to go to the I-Form Close stretch. That's what's so good about this two running back personnel. We're able to go it over there. We can flick it back to the left. And now we have a nice little run scheme that we've built in out of the I-Form slot flex as well as the I-Form close. This time we'll go to the halfback dive. Same thing again. We'll wait for him to motion over. You can even hike it while he's still in motion. Go ahead and hand it off to the dive for an easy three yards up the middle. So already off the start here, we create a nice little run scheme out of the I-Form slot flex and the I-Form close formation. Let's jump into the next play. All right, guys, next uh, formation I want to look at is bunch tight end. And I know we're doing five money plays here on the channel, but because I'm so generous, because I appreciate you guys and the support you've been showing me, I'm going to do a little mini scheme just out of this formation as well. And the plays we want to look at are going to be for passing. We're going to look at plays like cross drag, which is the, one of the easiest plays in the game. Of course, we have spot option, curl flat, and vertical. So all those plays, very, very effective. Of course, then you can mix in things like hatback zone, Strong power, the slip screen, which I love, and the counter. Very effective runs in this formation as well. Bunch tight end has been good the last few years. Of course, uh, in this and the pistol playbook are the best playbooks to find this bunch tight end. But the Saints, known for their pistol bunch tight end, has been very effective the last few years. Um, that's pretty much it for the main scheme. I don't really need to break it down, but I will do it. I'll just, those are the plays I want you guys to run, but I'll, I'll go into a play here just to show you guys how effective that can be. Play we're going to look at first is curl flat, and honestly, I like to run this play stock. Um, I'll probably just put the running back on a little out route to the right side as well. I like to utilize this curl flat combo here to the back side, as well as a little uh, high low read here to the right side with the with the corner route and the running back out route. If they're playing back, we can hit the a little out route. Um, if they're playing down, we'll be able to throw the tight end corner route as well. Um, I like to use this curl flat combo here to the left side. Also, as you see here, we're going to check it down to the flat route onto the sidelines because they were playing the curl route pretty tight. Then also, 
you're, so really you're looking to the right side first with these two routes but then you also have that curl flat combo and then of course the post route over the middle which can be very effective as well they brought a blitz there we weren't ready for it we had everything open on the left side there I'll go ahead and run it one more time I want to try to hit this post route over the middle if I can and right here we can maybe low pass it in there Trey Con Smith ah we can't get it in there so I'm, I don't want to be forcing it too much to that route but if they are playing underneath um, you will be able to throw that route um, behind them looks like man coverage here we're going to throw our little low pass curl all day long but we don't have gunslinger so that makes it a little bit more difficult of course if you guys are playing madden ultimate team make sure you have that gunslinger ability it allows you to throw way better routes out there but uh oh, we made the wrong read there we're gonna throw the flat route one more time here let me try to get a completion <laughs> Uh, this time we're gonna this time we're gonna throw the curl and there it is right there man coverage one-on-one -on -one. as you guys I broke it down in my video curl routes versus man are super effective next play real quickly I want to look at is verticals and verticals is super effective as well versus any coverage in the game the setup I like to do is something like this uh, motion up the wheel if it is zoned that wheel can get open but versus man you're looking for the crosser or the tight end drag this time they played back we had the wheel but we also had the drag underneath um, I love the verticals route because you can motion it out kind of quick past this if you need to to square one of the best routes in the game. This time looks like we have a uh, zone, so we're going to check it down to Jared Cook underneath once again. So verticals, pretty simple concept, basically flooding that left side. Then we're going to go to cross drag, and cross drag is one of the best in the game because it has dual drags, has a deep crosser, and it has a backside dig. So all these routes will beat man coverage. We'll also have a high-low read um, depending on if they play back or they play underneath. Look like they were playing a little bit back right there. So we check it down to the dual drags this time. We're going to see what they, we got. Looks like we have zone coverage again. Once again, Jared Cook wide open. Let me go ahead and see if I can hit that crossing route uh, to the triangle spot here. Of course, we don't have Gunslinger. We don't have Escape Bars or Drew Brees. Not one of the best quarterbacks in the game, but we'll try to make it work. Looks like we have the crosser triangle to the sidelines. Bad throw by Brees. But as you can see, if I would have waited a little bit longer, he would have cleared that defensive back. We'll go ahead and run it one more time here. Looks like we have man covered, so this time we should have a wide open triangle route, crossing route, we do. So, nice little main scheme here out of the uh, pistol bunch today. Make sure you guys are mixing in all these plays as well as the runs out of this formation. Alright, next formation I want to look at is the gun Y off trio week, one of the best formations in the game. Again, here, the play we're going to look at is sticking up, but I briefly want to mention that they also have other good plays like four verticals, plays like Saints outs, which is very, very effective, really good play. And, of course, uh, PA wide receiver in, which is good every year. And then PA post dig shot, which is really, really good. Simple, two, three, three routes. You can put your tight end on a drag, make that play really good as well. But the play I'm going to break down is sticking up. Going to run it versus any defense in the game. Going to go ahead and drag the tight end, streak the slot receiver, and put uh, the outside receiver on a slant. So we're going to have a high-low read here with the drag and the slant. And then we also have that crossing route coming from the backside, which that crossing route is one of the best in the game. Go ahead and take a look at what we have here. Looks like we're going to have the slant. Oh, Isaiah Simmons played that pretty glitchy. I'm making bad reads with Drew Brees, though. I'm, I'm not used to... I'm so used to playing Gunslinger, but I've been playing a lot of money games, labbing for tournaments, so I'm uh, not used to playing without the Gunslinger ability. So Drew Brees doesn't get the ball out there the way I want it, but that time we check it down to Jared Cook as the coverage backs off. This time I'm going to set it up again. Drag, drag. This time we have the slant wide open across the middle. Emmanuel Sanders. So we've hit the drag. We've hit the slant. The slant, the streak is, excuse me, the streak is really there just to bring the zones back. We're not really going to throw the streak unless they have a lapse in coverage that we can take advantage for a big play. That's why you always kind of do want streaks out on the field. Um, brings the zones back. But it's, it's really only there as a decoy. So let's go ahead and try to hit this post over the middle now to square if we can. Looks like we might have it here. Drew Brees, what a horrible throw, but we're still able to convert that. So sometimes you can throw that right over the middle, or sometimes you can wait till he gets to the sidelines. Let's see if we can get a little bit of time here in the pocket to wait till he gets to the sidelines. We're about to get it, and Drew Brees can't throw on the run, but we're still able to complete it. So a lot of times, if you have a skate bar, so if you have Gunslinger, you wait till he gets to the sidelines. Um, so let's try to do it here. I'm even going to max protect to give myself a little bit more time to try to hit that post to the sidelines. If we can get it there, Michael Thomas, there it is wide open to the sidelines for a big play so those are that's the row combo for that one of the best plays in the game let's jump into the next one all right guys fourth play out of this new orleans saints five play money scheme is going to be out of the Taysom hill package and this was added last year the Taysom hill formation 
you're going to want your fast quarterback there. Of course, we're in the Saints playbook, so we got Taysom Hill there. But if you use teams like the Ravens, teams like the Cardinals, the Seahawks, in regs, get your mobile quarterback in that spot here. Um, it's pretty simple. It, you know, of course, last year the QB blast was really good, and you can mix that in. But the real play out of this is the Y lead read option. This is probably the best read option in all Madden. Um, it's just so effective with the way this play runs. So all you want to do with this is watch that defensive end where it has the R over him. You see on the left side there, that's the read defender. So if he stands up, so it's a simple thing here. If he stands up, we hand it off. If we see if he doesn't stand up and you see him crash, we're taking off with our quarterback every time. So it's simple. Just watch that guy. If he stand, And I always look at it like if he stands up, I'm handing it off. And that's how I read it. So if I don't see him stand up, I'm taking off with my quarterback. But it, initially it's just if he stands up, I hand it off. Let's go ahead and run this about five times here so you guys can get a feel for it. But this is one of the best read options in the game by far. Had to break it down here on the channel in this money scheme because it's so good. So let's go ahead and see. This time he crashes. We take off. We have that lead blocker. That's why it's the Y lead read option because we have that lead blocker from the tight end spot. As you can see in the assignment, he's going to crash to the left side here, Jared Cook, to be able to pick that next level defender up. So once we get by that first read defender into that second level, Jared Cook will be able to help us with that with that uh, lead blocking. So let's go ahead and do it again here. This time they crash again. We're able to follow Taysom Hill. Of course, he doesn't have the elite speed. If, if you're doing this with something like someone like Lamar, Kyla Murray, then it's going to be much, much more effective. Now, we, they, you see they're bringing him down the box here to really watch it. Now we're going to read that outside uh, safety that came down into the box. So this time they crash down again. We take off, and on, we get an unfortunate block right there. Taysom doesn't have that breakaway speed. So if you have something like a skate artist or the fast break ability, going to make this even better this time they crash again we should have a big play here wait for that blocking from and now Taysom Hill he's off to the races so it's simple every time they've crashed we're taking off with the quarterback I'm waiting for them to kind of stand up here so we can hand it off but there's that uh, read defender continues to crash once again he crashes again another big play of course this time I'm going to slide down with my quarterback I don't want to take any you know big huge hits uh, I'll see if they can stand up nope they crash again this time the second level we weren't able to pick up the block so they tackle us in the backfield. All right, can we can we please get them to stand up one time? No. Once again, they crash. Another big play for Taysom. All right, I'm going to run this two more times here, hoping that we can get them to stand up, but they refuse to. Still refuse to. This time they crash. We're able to take it to the outside. So as you guys can see, every time, it, this is a big play. I mean, it's just one of the best read options in the game by far. It's a lot of fun to run, and they crash again. Another big play. All right, this is the last time I'm going to run it, I promise. Let's see if they stand up finally so we can hand it off. Now they're in quarters three deep, and they stand up. There it is. So that what, so you see the Reed defender, he stood up there. That time we can hand it off. So you're really just watching that outside defender with the R over him, see what he does, and then you respond accordingly, but one of the best runs in the game. All right, guys, final formation we're going to look at here is the gun-tight offset TE formation, and this playbook is known for their gun-tight offset. It's one of the best formations in the game year in and year out. Um, on my channel a million times, I've broken down the play Y out halfback swing. So this is your main money play out of this formation. If you guys want to see the breakdown for that, go to my channel. I, I believe I have it in the Green Bay uh, money playbook or money play breakdown. I also have it as an as a individual video, I believe, on my channel too. So just check that play out. Super effective. Uh, since we've already done it on the channel, I don't want to break it down again. So I'm going to break down another play, my second favorite one, which is Saints in one of the best man beaters in the game. Um, before we get into that real quick, I just want to tell you guys, of course, make sure you mix in the inside zone. PA shot seems is good versus cover two. Saints spot shake. Saints drive out. 0-1 trap. This play has so many good plays. Slot outs that have an angle route. Very effective. If you have, if you have some route cam abilities at receiver, make that play even better. Mesh spot is good. Saints have back wheel. Has a slip screen. Bench is good every single year. So this formation, absolute money. So many plays you can go to. Just wanted to make sure I tell you guys to mix all these plays in. But Saints in. Going to go ahead and run it here versus man coverage across the board. Cover two man. Very popular in Madden 21. Now, all these, every single route on this play, if you have good route runners, will beat man coverage. All I like to do is redrag square because it's going to put them on a funky little drag. So if you put them on a drag, uh, again, it's going to be like a mesh concept here uh, over the middle. So a mesh concept is basically very popular in the NFL. It, it's when kind of guys are running across the middle of the field on crossers, drags and they can run into each other, causing uh, havoc for the defense, whether they're in man or zone. A very popular concept in Madden as well. It's very effective. I've broken that down on my channel as well. But every single route here is going to beat man coverage. First, my two main reads usually are going to be the drag or the running back route because they're so quick and they beat man. But then we also have that Michael Thomas quick out route. 
The route to Sanders, the post over the middle is very effective. And, of course, Jared Cook dig routes are really good here in Madden 21. So let's go ahead and run it. We're just going to make the right read. This time we have either the drag or the running back route. This time we check it down to the drag. We're able to turn that into about 20 yards just off a simple drag route. Now let's go ahead and run it again here. This time we're going to throw to Kamara. He's one of the best receiving backs in the game. It's simple. Check that down to him. Uh, let's go ahead and look for another route now. Let's see if Michael Thomas, we can get him on the cut. We can. Easy. So every single route is just toasting man coverage right now. I mean, it's just super easy. So we've hit those three. Let's go to our next one. It's going to hit Emmanuel Sanders. I threw an absolute lob pass, which is the wrong thing to do. I had him wide open. I didn't mean to do that. So let's go ahead and try that again. I'm not used to Drew Brees on the cut. Right here, Emmanuel Sanders. Money. Possession catch that too. Um, you always want to possession catch that type of route over the middle of the field. Do it one more time. Let's see if Sanders can get a little bit more separation this time. Eh, same type of thing. So Patrick Peterson playing him pretty good out there. But that route will get open if you have an elite route runner. Um, let's try to hit Jared Cook now over the middle. He's got a linebacker on him, I believe. Jared Cook, not the best, though. But once again, possession catch, possession catch, possession catch. Makes it way better, um, much more safer on the cut this time. Oh, I can't get in there. Threw that one a little bit too soon. One more time here. All uh, right, on the cut. There we go, Jared Cook. So now one other thing you can do is, if you know, the Michael Thomas route is decent. It's great. But if you have a route cam ability there in that left slot position like we do with Michael Thomas, just simply put him on a corner route. Um, if you have that option, that will make this play even better. As you see there, he's going to get wide open. It's going to bring zones out that way as well for the backside routes. So a lot of things you can do with this play. Saints in one of the best in the game. Hope you guys enjoyed this five-play money scheme out of the New Orleans Saints playbook. One of the best playbooks in the game by far. You can be balanced with the run and the pass. It has bunch tight formations. It also has spread trips. So it has everything you need when it comes to an offensive playbook here in Madden. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Make sure to like, comment down below your thoughts. Are you guys fans of the Saints playbook? Let me know down in the comments below. Um, also subscribe to the channel, of course. I appreciate all you guys' support, man. Almost at 5,000 subscribers. It's been a great grind, and I can't wait to continue it. So until next time, your boy T. Davis is out.